Southeast Georgia is home to many strange invertebrate species, but if you look in the right places, you might find one of the weirdest. It's a stout creature that bulldozes its way through the undergrowth like a miniature locomotive. Recently, I was rummaging through a log pile when I managed to find one. Ooh, nice, look at this. There's a really cool animal under here. So what I have here is an American giant millipede. This is the largest millipede species in North America, reaching up to four to five inches, so very large millipede. So millipedes are myriopods. They're very closely related to centipedes. Millipedes can be differentiated from centipedes because they have two legs to every segment. A centipede will have one leg to every segment. Also, millipedes tend to be have a lot more of a round body, and centipedes are typically very flat. So that's, a, so that's another way that you can tell. Now, unlike a centipede, millipedes are not carnivorous. They eat uh, mostly de you know, decaying plant matter. So old leaves, rotting bark, that kind of stuff. Wow, that's so cool. They use those tiny antennae to feel around and find their way as they search for food and avoid predators. And something interesting that the American giant millipede can do is it produces a, a toxin and you can see there's some orange uh, liquid on my hands. That's what that toxin is. Uh, it smells actually pretty bad. And if it gets in your eyes or your nose, your mouth, it can actually, it can burn. Uh, not a fun experience, I would imagine. I just wanna make sure that I wash my hands when I finish handling this millipede before I touch my eyes. Something really neat with millipedes is their legs move in waves. That's how they don't trip themselves up, so watch. One wave after the other of his legs is how he propels himself along whatever surface he's moving across. A really awesome find. Let's pop this guy back underneath his log now. If you want to learn about the millipede's deadly cousin, the centipede, go check out the last video where we found and caught one of these venomous creatures. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time on Skidoo Island Wildlife.